Many Utah County voters have been voting in person today. Emma Benson has been at the polling location this afternoon and is live to tell us more. Emma, what's happening right now? Well, guys, I'm here now inside the polling location to show you more about how the process works. As you can see behind me, there are no voting booths um, this year, but instead, due to COVID-19, people are coming inside to get their ballot, and then they're instructed to take it outside in order to fill it out, whether that's in their car or sitting on the sidewalk, and then drop it off on their way out. Now, I'm here with Emily Argyle. Come on in, Emily. This is also her first time being a poll worker. Now, Emily, have you been here all day? We've been here since 6 a.m. <laughs> wow, that is a very long day. And what has uh, kind of been your responsibilities today? My responsibilities are typically greeting voters when they arrive, asking whether they've registered, and helping them either get registered or just scanning in their driver's license, their ID, and getting them into the right line to get their ballot. Awesome. And can you tell us about some of the COVID precautions that are being taken today with in-person voting? We have a lot of PPE on hand. All staff is wear are wearing gloves and masks and um, sanitizing regularly. All pens and clipboards and any items that would be touched by a voter are taken away and sanitized. And everyone's been doing their best to really keep distance as well. X is marked along the floor and things like that. Great. And also, have you seen an increase in young voters at all? We do have quite a few first-time voters. We are in a college area, and so we're seeing a lot of people actually register on-site who maybe typically have their addresses at a parent's house out of state. But we're seeing a lot of first-time Utah County voters today. Great. Thanks so much, Emily. Now, if you haven't voted yet, you can still have time, and we'll go back to you guys. Thanks. Thanks, Emma.